Good afternoon, Jonathan. Listen, I'm calling you because I want to change your life. Now, I want you to right now, I have lost 45 pounds. Exactly. That is how I have felt for the last couple months until I started taking this product. Six months ago, I was overweight. I want to help you change your life. Today, I believe in this product. Nobody wants to be called and asked to buy shit over the phone. But if you know how to deliver your pitch right, you can sell them their own stinking shit and they will buy it. Terrific. Three months of prize. Do I use this product? What are you kidding me? Of course I do. Of course I do. And I look amazing too. I tried it three months ago. I'm spelt. It's about the delivery of the pitch. It's all about the delivery. I'm calling you from Better Yourself, and I will teach you how to better yourself in three months. You have to sound like you're their best friend. You have to sound excited, like this is the greatest shit on earth. That's what you should be asking yourself. I, you sound like a very smart woman, and this is what I'm going to do for you. You don't ask them if they're interested. You tell them they're interested. I know what you need. I have it right here, and I'm going to have this sent out to you right now. Do call back? No, 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 no. I don't do callbacks. I would like to, but then I wouldn't be able to give it to you at the same great offer that I'm offering you right now. People don't like thinking for themselves. You think for them. I'm not going to get off the phone until it's done. What's your credit card number? Because 90% of the people you call, they buy from you, not because you got some great product, but because they like you. Mr. Fosberg, this is one of the most important decisions you will ever make in your life. Do you want to change your life? Because if you do, you can do it right now if you order this product. They're buying you, not the shit you're selling. My name's Neil Black, and I've been running rooms since I was 20 years old. And I made a lot of money in this business, knowing three things. This job, it's not for everybody. And you can't sell everybody. But if you make enough calls in one day, you're gonna make your money. This is a numbers game. A numbers game. You make 200 phone calls a day, there's no way you can't close at least five to seven people. And once you're good, you'll close 15. Mr. Henderson, listen, a verifier is going to be calling you in the next five minutes. I want to thank you for Terrific, your work. Terrific, Sarah. You'll be receiving your shipment in five days, and we appreciate your work. I'm going to repeat that visa number back to you now for clarification. There's no such thing as bad leads. I don't care what you've heard. Every person you call is a potential sale. You have to know that these people are sitting at home waiting for you to take their money. Okay. But you have to know how to do it. I will teach you how it's done. I have the greatest product on the market today. It increases your energy, it helps you lose that weight. No, no, those are imitations. This is the real thing, and I can get it out to you today. And remember this, only the hungry and the desperate will survive.
I know we can. All right? Now, I want to thank each and every one of you for a really good week. Yeah. 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 All right. I have $500 in my pocket, I believe, for the first deal today. Let's get to work. Who's here? You're all here. Who's got what it takes to ride my money train? Ask yourselves. And these boys are going to walk you through it. You've got to be kidding me. What? Good morning, Annette. Good morning, Annette. No, I do not feel that way. Yeah, that's what I said. Put your wife on the phone. Hi. Hello? I'm your friend, right? Hello. 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 So, have any of you ever done this before? Okay. This is a product called Better Yourself Diet Drink. And here's a cell script. I just want you to read it word for word right off the page. And I'll pretend to be a customer. Okay. 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 Go ahead. Hello, may I please speak to the homeowner? Yes, that's me. Oh, hi, my name is Cindy. Is this another telemarketer? Yes. What? I mean, no. I told you guys to stop calling me. Do you understand me? Okay, sorry. I mean, ever. First of all, you never tell them that you're a telemarketer. You're an information provider. Okay. Okay. Your turn. Go ahead. I just want you to read it right off the page again, just like her. And I'm going to pretend to be a customer again. Oh, well, I'm just going to try and memorize it first, so. No, 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 no. Just write off the script. Just go ahead. Hi, um, hello, I'm Carly, and... I'm calling you, um... Cause I just... Why did you hang up on me? Carly, 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 Carly. You're too slow. Okay, let's do it again. Go ahead, ring, ring, ring. Hi, my name is Carly, and I'm calling... Who is this? Carly? Is this a telemarketer? Uh, no. Do you ever call me again? I'm gonna call the police. You got that? Well, that was better. But let's do it again. Okay? Go ahead. Ring, ring, ring. Hello? Anybody there? Ring, ring, ring. Your turn, Billy. I'd rather do it without the script, if uh, that's okay with you. Okay. Sweet. Great. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hi, uh, can I speak to Catherine, please? This is Catherine. Hey, Catherine. This is Billy. You don't know me, but I'm calling you because I have some great information about a great product. Oh. <laughs> do you want to be a better You're person? hired. Oh, you don't want to hear the rest? Are you kidding me? With that voice, you're a natural. <laughs> you're guaranteed any cell. Follow me. Better luck next time. Sorry to wake you. Just doing my job. Why would you say that? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just calling you back. Hi. I want you to get your shit out of my house today. Fucking bitch. No, 
It's not supposed to give you diarrhea. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Come on. I know where you live. I've been hitting this so much today, folks, I'm deafening myself. All right. I like the sound of that bell, people. Yes, great, great. All right, well, Verify will be calling you back in a few minutes to confirm that your order is going to be sent. I up all the time. I lost 15 pounds in like two weeks. You should see me. Janice Goldsmith? Hi, it's Regina Washington from Better Yourself, and I'm going to teach you how to better yourself in three months. It's not working. Four, oh, it worked on me, it worked on my dad, and he eats everything in the house. <laughs> okay. Does anybody know that the copy is not working? Hey, Catherine. What's happening, Bobby? Why is everyone just standing around? Our numbers are really low. I don't know. Well, hello, Trico. These are your orders and leads. No, don't be scared. I, I promise. I swear, I'm not going to call anymore. He's going to do great. Yeah? Thanks. So Marilyn, why don't you tell me what it is that you do here? Shit, motherfucker. Hello? No, no, no. Not, not you! I'm sorry. So people really drink this? Yes, people really drink this. So you? No, none of us drink it. You have to motivate them. Get them going. We need better phones. We just need better phones yeah. and leads. I keep getting you better leads. Is anybody selling to your program? Nobody is going to spend $1,200. We are selling the one month. Program. No, they're not. They're selling the free trial programs. That means nobody's selling anything. Hi. Hello? Hello. My name, it's not... I, I'm sorry, are you deaf? These leads are killing me. Jerry, you've only called five people. Do you have a credit card? A credit card. Credit card. So this shit really makes people lose weight. Catherine, can you get diarrhea from drinking this shit? Oh. Catherine, Harold's on his way up. What are you doing here? Just curious to see your operations in person. Oh, okay, well, this is where the magic happens. I see there's not much magic happening. Well? These are all the cancellations of the diet drinks, a list of all my returns. I know, I know, and I can... What do you mean, you know? How the hell do you get nearly half of all sales sent back? I can explain. I'm curious to hear this explanation, I mean, Catherine. Fifty percent? I can imagine maybe five or ten, but fifty? In one month? I'm really curious. I even canceled all my appointments today to fly here and see firsthand where the magic happens. I'm all ears. You have my complete attention. I can explain. Knock it off. You don't have an explanation. The only explanation is that you don't verify your deals. None of these customers were verified. That's the only reason these sales were canceled. I'm canceling your contract. Harold, please, I will verify. I will personally verify these deals. I will not let one deal get processed until I... Are you kidding me? I didn't come down here to lecture you. We're done. Your numbers will increase. I will turn this room around. The only thing that's increased 
are cancellations. You know how much that costs me? You're costing me more in returns than in sales. I will turn this room around. Why don't you hire a new sales manager? We have Bobby, but we just need better leads. Leads? You got plenty of leads. He's a clapper, not a sales manager. Harold, I will turn this room around. Okay. You got two weeks. That's it. Nice, baby. Sell him, sell him. Come on, you can do it. Don't look at me, man. Talk to him. Talk to him. Come on, come on. You can do it. Catherine, you sure you can do this? Yes. Come on, come on. Get on the phone. I see your room. I know someone who can help. His name's Neil Black. He could turn this around for you. Well, thank you, but I'm sure I can do this myself. We'll see. How do they get your phone number? I got it off a bathroom wall at a highway rest stop. If your car breaks down, you'd fix it. Jonathan, are you with me? Listen, your body breaks down too, and by drinking this stuff, you will fix it. Does it have side effects? Yeah, you turn blue. No, there's no side effects except weight loss, energy gain, and you look great. How's that for side effects? Okay, good. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, now I just need your phone name. What's going on with your ex? Got it. Now, where do you live? Hi, Ginger. Hi, Harold. Neil has a minute for me. Harold is here. Tell him to come in. Thank you, Ginger. Harold. How are you, Neil? I have a favor to ask. Can you go down to see one of my rooms? I need you to help out this woman. The room's falling apart, and I'm ready to shut it down. A woman? Yeah. You got a woman running a room? <laughs> it's Jimmy's daughter. He had a stroke, can't work anymore. His daughter's trying to keep things going, but it's been two months. It's ready to close. You want a drink? No. That's all right. Can you get over there as soon as you can? I can't keep the contract with her. Now, it's only two weeks. Just stop in there. I'd hate to do this to Jimmy. Now, here's a, a dress. Her name's Catherine. It's a woman, huh? Male. It's Jimmy. All right. I know Jimmy. I'll do it for you. Thanks. Thanks. All right. You be good to yourself. All right. Mr. Black, are you going to play that thing for me or what? Ginger, I'm not only going to play it for you, I'm going to sing for you. <laughs> you sing? Yeah. Yo soy un hombre sincero De donde crece la palma Antes de morir me quiero Hembrarlo
calling you but your phone's always busy well I've been working in fact I've been working too much you always say you're working well, I love that line it's my favorite Heather what are you doing here I just wanted you to change you wanted me to change and so you divorced me well I didn't know what else to do well you you always ignored me and you were obsessed I with ignored that fucking car come on baby everybody's waiting who the hell is she a friend a friend you, you have really? no say in it move Heather, come. God damn it. Heather. Hey, what is hey this? you can't do this. No, we're not together anymore. Hey, Heather, Heather, we're not together anymore. You cannot do this. I can't do what? I can't do what? You can't act like this. Like what? Oh, come on. Oh, please, stop. Stop. We are divorced. We're divorced. You never loved me. What do you Did want you? me to do? You want me to cry my eyes out, huh? You want me to cry my head off or, or beg you to come back? Is that what you want? Do you want me to be depressed, Heather? Or do you want me to just die? Yeah, right? yeah. Why don't I yeah, just die, I right? Want you to die. Oh, you I want me to die. Hey, you, okay, you stop that. Stop it. Stop. What? I'm dying. What? You need to cool off. <laughs> Lemonade, sir? Why, thank you. Hmm. 75 cents? Yeah, 75 cents. 75 cents for lemonade. Do you know it's people like you? Why we have inflation? Why we have poverty? Because people like you decide to raise prices for no reason. Do you understand that? When I was a little boy, you could save up and buy a Chevy for a few bucks. You could buy a house. And then one day, people like you decide to raise prices for no reason except for greed. Raise the price of lemonade from five cents to 75 cents? We're sorry, sir, you can have lemonade. Her daddy told us to raise the prices. Your daddy, huh? Well, your daddy is not an American. Bobby, you need to knock before you enter. Look, Catherine, this is not working out for me. I want to leave. Just cut me a check. And what about you? Oh, Debbie's leaving too. And where do you guys think you're going? We are going, going to, to Vegas. Vegas. Vegas, right. Well, you need money to go to Vegas, and I'm not going to pay you because you haven't been making phone calls, you haven't been running my room, and I'm sure as hell not going to pay Debbie a single cent for talking on the phone with her friends all day. Look, Catherine, I've been here longer than you. Mm -hmm. Debbie and I need our money now. And how many deals have you closed in just this week? That's got nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. Look, those are my people. That is my room. This is my office. Your dad gave you a... Don't be mistaken. This is my company. What? You know what I think? What? You think that just because Jimmy left that I'm going to be some pushover and you can just come and go as you please and not do your job? Is that what you thought? No. I I'm just trying to get what I want. Mm -hmm. You cannot sell shit off your leads. Oh, uh, and how long have you been in sales, Bobby? I've been in sales for f longer than you. What? You thought you were just going to bullshit me out of a paycheck? No. Listen to me. You've got two choices. You can do exactly what I say, throw your ego out the door, learn to be a sales manager again like you were for my father, or you can leave without a penny. What? Do you understand me? And you can tell Debbie 
She's fired. You fired? Good. Now go back to work. I'm gonna go take care of some business. I'll be right back. Coffee break. Oh, Jesus. Nice Fuck. outfit. Nice outfit. Very no, nice. And this. Do this. Never do this in an office. Never do this. Let me call you back. I'm gonna have a look to my van. Can I have one? Which is your favorite? Take that one. Thank you. What is that? Is oh, that no, a no, no, uh, no, personal? Does no. that work, right? Does your mother ever teach you manners? That's beautiful. Hello. Oh, Hi. who is this? This is Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't you have someone hanging on the phone? Oh, let's see. Hello? What can I help you, sir? I'm here to see Catherine, sweetie. Neil Black is here to see you. He says Harold sent him. Are you applying for a sales position? No. Nope. Well, you don't want to work here, man. There's no money. Then why are you working here? I ask myself that same question every day. Well, maybe you should try asking yourself a different question. You can go in now. Thank you. Thank you, Annette. That your father? Yes. How'd you know that? Just a wild guess. Was he gonna be your boyfriend? Funny. Ah. Uh -huh. hmm. Well, I'm sorry to be wasting your time, but I told Harold I'm not interested in hiring any new sales managers. Well, that's all right. I'm not here to be your sales manager. Then what exactly are you here for? Wow. Well, you are beautiful. <laughs> nice table. Where'd you buy it? In fact, this whole place. Who decorated it? I did. I used to be interior design. Really? What are you doing here? Well, my father got sick. Ah, I'm sorry to hear that. But you're really good. In fact, you probably should go back to doing that. Maybe I'll hire you to decorate my place. We'll see about that. Ask you a question? How old are you? What? What are you, 15? 20? 25? Ha ha ha, are you trying to be funny? Yeah. I'm hmm. not gonna tell you my age because it's none of your business. That's okay. As you can see, I have a lot of work to do, so thank you for coming. Really? Work? You're not doing any work here. Get out. No, 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 listen to me, okay? And calm down, because I'm here to help you. I'm going to build your room for you. <laughs> You're going to run my room. No, no, it's going to be my room from now on. I don't think so. Yeah, well, you don't have many choices, dear. Your little company, it's not going to last another week. That room in there, dead. Dead. And Harold, he's going to pull your contract if your numbers don't increase. I'm just here to help you. Who do you think you are? I'm Neil Black. Oh, right. You're something else. Yeah. Well, you're a little cat, and I like that. And how exactly are you going to do what you say you're going to do? I want full control of your room. I'm in charge. Everything that happens, happens under my command. I don't make compromises, and that's just the way it's gonna be from now on. You, you sit back here in your little office and count the money. You're delusional. Get out. 
Well, what other choices do you have? I have plenty of choices. Now please leave. Do you want me to leave? Mm, yes. All right. I'll leave. Smile and dial. Smile and dial. Now that I have everybody's attention, I want you to all stand up. Come here to the front of the room. I'll gather right here. Come on, don't be afraid. Come on, come on. Listen up. Now you know, and I know, that money is everything. You can lie to yourself and tell yourself it's not. But you know the truth. Money does buy you love. A lot of love. It buys you happiness. It'll buy you friends, family. And it will buy you a place in the sun. Call security. Without money, you can't do shit. In fact, can't even take a shit. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I just, I think you're funny. <laughs> really, what do you do besides this? I'm a singer and a songwriter. Do you have talent? Yeah. Well, that's just fucking great. Because without money, you can't take that talent anywhere. Do you understand that? That's the truth. I will make you money. I am the key to your success, to your life, to your happiness. But you have to believe everything I tell you. What matters most, what happens in this room from now on, it's just you and me. And nobody else. Understand? This, this phone, this is your best friend. The greatest invention ever made. And I will teach you how to use this tool. Harold, he just took over my company. Catherine, listen. He stays. Let him do his thing. He leaves. I'm going to pull your contract. I don't want to hear another word about it. Your numbers are too low. I'm going to be your coach. I will be your counselor. And I will be your best friend. If you let me. But you got to unlearn everything you've ever learned. And start fresh with me. From now on, all of you belong to me. You. You're the sales manager. Well, that's just great, buddy. But you know what? We don't need a clapper around here anymore. You're fired. What? Yeah. As a matter of fact, you're all fired. All right. I got like four I just got my All right, all right, all right, all right. You will reapply for your jobs tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. sharp. And you will dress for success. I have in my hand a sales script. I want each and every one of you to take this and commit it to memory and program it into your little minds. Yes, even you, Sid Vicious. You can be a salesman too. Tomorrow, this will be a new room. He just fired me. What? He just fired me in front of everybody. He said, okay, buddy, we don't need a clapper here anymore. This is a nightmare. I want to thank you all for listening. Good night. What do you think you're doing to my company? Hey, if I leave right now, how long do you think before Harold pulls your contract? Two weeks? Three weeks, maybe? Baby, in a few weeks, you're going to be rich. I'm a fucking godsend. You should be thanking God right now. That's actually, that's what you should. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, hey, listen, it's up? okay. It's all right. Hey. Thank you, guys. Come on, right. you come on. It's a misunderstanding. Uh, are you sure, Miss Pistol? That's it's mine. It's a starter pistol. What Give the it. hell are you doing with a starter Give pistol? Give it back, will you? It's Thank right. you. Thank you, guys.
We're having a conversation. Thank you. Baby, I'm your friend. I'm going to show you how this is done, okay? I'm only here to do my job. I'm only here to help you. None of them are going to come back to work. Yes, they will. And if they don't, we'll hire fresh reps. What do you have to lose? If I don't, if I don't stick around, your company's going to shut down anyway, okay? Whatever Mr. Black says goes. I'm sorry for letting you guys down. I don't know who you think you are to make a woman cry like that. Oh, I made her cry. What, you're so macho you can't even tell when you make a woman cry? You know what? You better get out of here before I make you cry. Hey, Catherine. Hey, Bernie. How are you tonight? Are you okay? Not really. What are you still doing here? I'm sorry I made you cry. I'm sure you are. Wait. Look, I made you some coffee. It tastes terrible. What? You don't like it sweet? It tastes like sugar. That's energy, baby. That's energy. Wait. Look, I know you've been in this business a few years, okay? Let me ask you a question. How long you been running this room? I'm not gonna answer that question. Fine. I've been in this business my whole life. I've been doing this all my life. And let me tell you something. This room has no energy. Energy drives people. Money doesn't drive people. People drive people. If you don't drive people, who do you think's gonna drive the people? You need someone to drive these people. What the fuck are you talking about? What? You hungry? Neil! Uh, Neil Black! Hey, oh, hey, mwah, hey, mwah, hey, this is fantastic! Hey, oh, hey, yes! Uh, let's come for you. Yes. Hey, Catherine oh, Westwood, my friend. Very nice. She's a lady. Very nice. Yeah. Mwah, 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 mwah. Right. Very nice. We want the full works tonight. Of course, absolutely. Right. Come, come, follow me. You're very good you. to see you again. Thank you very much. Very good. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. Come, 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 my favorite place. Come, come. Oh, I know where you're taking us. Of course. Only oh, the best. Oh, oh. Only the best. Please, please, please. This is my table, right? My table. Gentle. All right. Here, come here. Sit next to me. I'm not going to sit there with you. Please, please, please sit. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well done. Come, come, come. Oh! Aha! Yes! Check this out. Look at this. Watch this. I'm, I'm learning. Welcome to Morocco! Come on! Come on! Stand up! This is part of the thing. It's part of the ritual. Y you know. All right, this is what you do. All right, now this is the hummus, okay? All right, don't fill yourself with the tea. That's just like to wet your palate. Look, this stuff is great. Mm. Hummus, okay? Look, in fact, taste it, taste, taste. Yeah, 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 taste, taste, taste. taste. No, no, taste, taste. Garlic, taste the garlic? Huh? Good. What do you like to eat, huh? Well, I'm a vegetarian. A vegetarian? Wait, you don't eat meat? Oh, I love hummus though, but uh, I don't eat meat. Do you eat fish? Yeah, I eat fish. <laughs> you know, you know that fish are so stupid that if you slap a fish, five seconds later, it won't remember? Why would I slap a fish? I don't know, but, but, but if you did, it wouldn't remember five seconds later. It's got a five second memory. You're insane. Right. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order a bunch of food Right? And you eat what you want and don't eat what you don't want. Thank you. Uh, I know what I want. This thing right here. What, how, do you, how do you pronounce that? That's couscous. Couscous. Right. That's what we want. Okay. Wait, but also make her some fish. Okay. Sounds good. Anything else? No. Thank okay. you very much. All right.
All right. So. Let me ask you something. Are you married? No. You got a boyfriend? No, you don't have a boyfriend. How did you know that? Well, if you did, you wouldn't hesitate. Huh. Are you married? No. Figures. Listen to me. You're really beautiful. You shouldn't be working there. What do you mean I shouldn't be working there? I'm saying it's not your thing. All right? You should be doing what you really love in life. Mm -hmm. Well, this is really important to me and I don't want it to fall apart. So don't worry. That's what I'm there for. Just because you're good at sales doesn't mean you're good at running a sales room. You need a sales leader, okay? You don't need a cheerleader, a, 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 a clapper, all right, to run a sales room. You, you need a general. You, you don't need a hot blonde who looks like she's coming out of like a, some runway show. You're supposed to be a leader yeah. with your gangster suits and your gold chains and your greasy, oily hair? A gangster doesn't make money. I make money. You make me sick, you know that? You're just in the wrong business, okay? Where you belong is home by the pool with a hot red bikini You and know what you are? What? You're a son of a bitch, you know that? I was exaggerating. Hey, the food's here, Catherine. Hey, somebody stop her! All right, this is it. So anyways, special, special request, that's all I have to say. Yeah? yeah. Special? Yeah. What's Ooh, her name? Who is she? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you later. We don't have a lot of time because they're going to be back at 7. You guys start, just kick, get, clear the room. You know what? I guarantee she's a blonde. You know what I'm saying? Tell me your name. Marilyn. 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 Well, welcome back. What do you think? Well, it's pretty nice. And... Pretty nice, huh? Huh? Oh. Right. You've got to be kidding. Come All on. All right, Marilyn, look. I know you're sore about yesterday, what happened between us. What I said, I didn't really mean. You don't have to be afraid of me, okay? I'm only here to help. And you're here early, which is very good. Very good shows like Commitment. Welcome back. I'm not here because I need this job. I'm here because of Catherine. I'm here to help her, not you. That's as good a reason as any. I'm here for her too, you know? Listen, I'm not gonna be around for a long time, just a okay. couple weeks just to get this room going, okay? I'm doing this for her and for you guys. And you don't have to like me, all right? But when you're making money, you're gonna love me, okay? Is that how you get people to like you, Mr. Black? By making them money? It's the way I know how to. There are other ways. Oh, I'm sure there are. Hello, Mr. Donut. Wow. Right. Jared. Jared, walk right in. Holy shit. I'm in the wrong office again. No, 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 come back here. Come back here, come back here. This is the right place. Tell me your name. Hercules. Who calls you Hercules? The ladies, baby. Ah, <laughs> what do they call you on the phone? Uh, they call me Stuart. But... Welcome back, Stuart. Oh, whoa, walk right in. What is your name? 
Jessica. Jessica, welcome back. Very beautiful. Is this you? Holy shit. No, that's Neil Black. Just looks like me. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, folks, you left this place. It was a dump. It was a dead room. This is the room I promised you. It's a new room. It is a money room. Everybody, it is a money room. Now walk around, find your desk. All your belongings are on your desk. I didn't throw anything away. This is where you're gonna live. This is where you're gonna be happy. You all look beautiful. You all look sharp. Dressed for success. Yes, dear. How did this exactly happen? I have friends, dear. What, like little elves? No, very big. Who do you think he is calling me a clapper? Ah. Good morning. I think she likes it. Anyway, as I... Wait a minute, what are you doing here? Didn't I tell you I didn't want clappers in this room? All right, one second. I do need to train a new sales manager. Are you applying for the job of sales manager? Yeah. What is your name? Bobby. Bobby, you may apply for the job of sales manager. All right. But you got to learn how to sell with me, like I sell. This is the way Neil Black operates. Now, who's the best salesman in this room? Me. You. Yes. I should have figured. How much money did you make last year? I don't mean, tell me, because I don't give a shit. Because everything that you know, you better forget. Because I'm going to teach you the way that it's done. I will teach you how to close anyone Anybody on the phone in five minutes. In and out, five minutes. Hey, any more than that, you're wasting my time. Why? Because this is a numbers game, people. A numbers game. Why is it a numbers game? Because the more phone calls you make, the more money you will make. Are we still here? Are we listening? Nobody wants to be sold on the phone. Nobody wants to be pitched on the phone. So I, Neil Black, will demonstrate the proper way to sell. Look, you're not gonna sell anything here. These leads are shit. Give me your worst lead. Give me your worst lead. Come on, come on, come on. These are shit. There you go. It has nothing to do with it. Catherine, you gotta come see this. Neil's gonna call a lead. You have to pay attention because this will separate the men from the boys. The little girls from the women. First name, Larry Anderson. We'll see about these shit leads. It's ringing. Hello, Larry Anderson. This is Neil Black. How are you today? He's deceased. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. But this could be a good day for you anyway. Sir, sir, I wanted to send your brother an amazing new diet product to help him lose weight, to help him feel better, to raise his energy daily. This is a product that's, well, I have to tell you, it's not even on the market right now. Listen, how much would you usually spend for a diet product? How much, how much? Just, just give me a price. What about, what would you say if I could give this to you? Something that you could have every day for the next 30 days, like I drink it, every day for 30 days for $1,000. How does that sound? I, I think so too. I think it's a ridiculous price. Ridiculous. Now listen, do you have Visa? MasterCard. MasterCard, of course, that's what I use myself. <laughs> All I need is your card number. Yeah, I got that. I got that. Three, five, that's it. All right, Andy, I think we're on our way. Remember my name, I am Neil Black, and I did this for you because I would have done it for your brother. And you know what? Your brother somewhere is gonna be proud of you because you're bettering yourself. That's it, that's the name of the product, better yourself.
All right, Andy. All right, you take care. We'll get this out to you within seven days. All right, bye-bye. Now, who wants to learn to do this? We got to learn our product. Our product is called Better Yourself. How many of you have tasted it? I didn't think so. Now, Billy, hand me some bottles of Better Yourself. Can you believe it? It's incredible. That's great. It's all because of Mr. Black. Thank you so much. I'm impressed. Very, very impressed. I just fired her because all she does is talk on the phone with her friends. I need you to fire her. Well, it's not your problem anymore, Catherine. Fine, Forget about it. Did I just fire you? Bobby says Sorry, that Catherine. Sit down. You're not no. going anywhere. You cannot fire people. That's not your job anymore. This is still my company. You cannot get involved here, Catherine. I told you that already. No, we're supposed to do this together. No, so we're not. I'm me. in control of this room now, okay? Until I leave, I'm in control. That's not you how can't it's you can't you belong in your office collecting the money. Do you want to do this in front of everybody? That's not how it's supposed to work. No? That's the only way it's gonna work. There cannot be two captains, Catherine. I'm the captain. What is your problem? You're my problem. Oh, I'm your problem. Yes, you're taking over my company and you're making me a prisoner of my own office. A prisoner? This is for your own good. You can't be out there. You're fucking it up. You're dangerous out there, okay? I'm doing this for you. You're a tyrant. Oh, I'm a tyrant, yes. right? Oh, everything I'm doing for you, that makes me a tyrant. Yes, I want you to leave. Wait, wait, wait. No. No, wait. wait. What? What? You, you, look, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, don't cry, don't cry, look, you have to trust me, hey, look at me, look at me, don't, don't be upset, I'm not, I'm not here to hurt you, I'm here to help you, I'm your friend, I'm gonna make this good, you just have to trust me, all right, I'm not here, to, I'm not gonna hurt you, I'm gonna make this all real good, you have to trust me. Look at me. I'm here for you. Just give me some time. Okay? Just let me do what I do.
respect. Show you some respect? Do you know what I realized? What? You're insecure. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You want everyone to tell you how amazing and how great you are. No, I don't. Yes, you do. And you want everyone to know it. Why does God want people to worship him and pray to him every day, all day? Why? The same reason. You're crazy. You're an egotistic son. No, I need it. I, it drives me. It feeds me. It makes me do my best work when someone like you needs me. You need help now. I need you. Hey, Catherine, come back here. I'm not going to chase you. Sir, I've got all your information. No, if you want to show it to your mother, well, I think it's a phenomenal gift. Yeah. When I do it, happy to meet you know, I'm 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 no, I'm serious. You, baby. Get it? Get it? Uh, red first. Yes. Got it. Total. Fifty-two. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, You stop. You stop right there. Hey, hey, stop right here. Look at the board. Just take a look at the board, okay? What's that say? Fifty-two thousand dollars. It's almost sixty thousand dollars in one week. That's my gift to you, Catherine. I did that for you two weeks ago. Where were you? This room was dead. It was falling apart, and now it's one of the hottest rooms in the business. You were crying. You wanted to die, and now look at you. And you're insulting me. That's what you do. You insult me, and you call me names. That's what makes you happy. Listen, Mr. Black. I said I was grateful, and yes, I'm very impressed. Well, you don't show you're grateful. Oh, you why? never show why? it. Why? Why should I? Why should you? you made me oh, a prisoner. Prisoner in my oh, office? On. Oh, come on. Boo hoo. Boo hoo. Who do you think I did this for? Do you think I did this for me? For me? For, do you think I did it because Harold asked me to? You think I do it for my health? I did this for you, Catherine. I did this. I built it, the whole room, did, and I gave it to you. You did this for me? Yes. You did this for money, Neil, like you said. Money? You got money, the wrong guy, because yes. I have a lot of money. I don't need money. I have my own room, babe. In fact, you can have everything. Everything you made here, it's yours. You got it. All right. Well, then thank you. Thank you for building my room for me. But it still doesn't change the way that I feel about you. I'm not interested in you. And I'm never going to be interested in you. Keep working, keep working. You know what to do. You know, Mr. Black. What? I just realized something. I'm not mad at you anymore. And it has nothing to do with these flowers. No. You don't get it. And you're never going to get it. What do you mean I don't get it? And the funniest thing is, is that you're so smart with everything else except for one simple thing. And yeah, what is that? How to treat a lady. I know how to treat a lady. Oh, no, you don't. You don't know how to treat a lady. And you don't have any respect for anybody but yourself. Oh, I don't respect you? No, you don't. You think I'm just supposed to stand here and look pretty for you? Well, you are. I mean, you're the one who picks out those dresses. That's the way you dress. This is my company. I'm running this until I leave. This is my company. We're running it together. You're running it with me. Oh, really? Yes. What do you do except decorate and look fucking pretty? I'm the one who built this place and got it going for you. How dare you? I trained them and I got it going for you. I built it for you, babe. You know what you are? You're all ego. You're just a male chauvinist with your gold chain and your suit. You know what your type? It's never gonna get it. You just think you can just throw money at women and they're just gonna sleep with you? Is that what you think? Sometimes. <sighs> Who raised you, Neil? My mother raised me. And don't say anything about my mother. I'm sure she did a great job, but she forgot to teach you one very important thing. Oh, you're gonna tell me? Yes. How to be a real man, Neil. My father taught me to be a real man. And well, then your father must have been a real jerk. Yeah, so maybe he was. Uh, 
I feel sorry for you, Neil. You know, well, maybe I feel sorry for me too. But you know what? I really like you. I do. You're never gonna get it. You're never gonna get it. And it's too bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's too bad. Why'd you do that? What's the point? I'm not married anymore. Gave it to a pretty girl. I don't know, I just feel like I don't know women anymore. I don't understand them. I give them everything they want. I try really hard. And it never works out. The funny thing is, the ones you really want, you can't have. Hmm. What? You're just too much. I'm too much? Yeah, you're too much. You're overwhelming. Talking to you, it's like talking to a brick wall. You know, you're always trying to do things for women, but you're so controlling. You're always giving orders. Well, get me another drink, will you? So what do you know? You're a bartender. things. You're looking down. You should be excited. Looks like this room's been making lots of money. I know black is something else, man. <laughs> you know, I know money drives people, but that Mr. Black, what was driving him wasn't money. It was something more. I work in a lot of sales rooms in this building. 
What drove that man to build this womb in less than two weeks wasn't money. Money can't do what he did. It was a lot more than money alone could ever do. Can you go? No. Try love. That man can't love anybody but himself. And besides, he doesn't even know me well enough. Maybe he don't need to know you. He can read you like an open book. He's a salesman. The best I've ever seen. Salesmen know how to read people the first second they look at you. And he read you like a book. Enough to fall in love with you in five minutes. Mr. Black? Yes. I'm sorry, and, and you are? Miss Westwood. Your first name, please. Catherine. I'm sorry, but Mr. Black is not in right now. When will he be in? You know, I don't know. All right, well, we... Tell him that I was here? I suppose I could. I'm sorry. I like this. This is really working well. It's uh, very festive. Like a package. Like right. Christmas. Like Christmas. You're a smart ass, aren't you? you know, I've heard that before. I'm, I'm sorry. We got off on the wrong foot. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm James. This is my partner, Anthony. Anthony, this is Catherine Westwood. Hey, guys, knock it off. You, come on. Nice place. You decorated it. I did. Well, you're good. Maybe you should decorate my place sometime. Already did that. You know, Neil, no one's ever done anything for me. But losing control, feeling helpless, it's a terrible feeling. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe sometimes you gotta lose control in order to gain something, I don't know. I'm just, I wish I didn't have to be in control all the time. I'm always so afraid of losing it because I've never been without it. I wouldn't know what it was like. I'd be, I couldn't breathe. Or something. See, that's the thing, Neil. What you did for me was so amazing. But you made me feel so helpless. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to... You saved my company. But... at the same time... I just wish... we did it together. Why didn't you just ask me? <sighs> I tried. You don't listen. Remember? Only one captain on deck? Yeah. Yeah. I don't listen that well, do I? No, you don't. So that's it? Just want me to show you how to 
how to be like me. I'd like that. I'll teach you. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so now what do we do? Well, would you like to go out to dinner? With you? You and me? Tonight? Tonight? It'd be good. We could go to some fancy place. Or I could pick the place. You want to pick the place? Okay. Okay. You see? Mm -hmm. I can change. You're getting better. I'll get my jacket. Okay. You know, I could, uh, could shoot something and we could, you know, eat in, you know, I could. Neil, I'm taking you out. All right. Remember me? I'm Neil Black. The lemonade business. In this business, Every person that walks by is a potential sale. Everybody out there is just waiting for you to take their money. But you gotta pretend that this is the greatest drink on earth. Now, you listen to me and I will make you money.